What happened at AEW Double or Nothing? Find out right now. So we start with the pre-show, and I was actually wrong in my prediction. I predicted Thunder Rosa over Deanna Perrazzo, but she won. However, I was right about the acclaimed winning over Cage of Agony. Both of them were kind of throwaway matches to, you know, for the crowd as they entered the arena. Now we get on to the main show. We start with Will Ospreay versus Roderick Strong. This match was awesome, and I was wrong again. My predictions were terrible. Will Ospreay defeats Roderick Strong for the AEW International Championship. The Undisputed Kingdom got themselves thrown out of the uh, thrown out from ringside when Wardlow got caught trying to power bomb Will Ospreay. Even though he had him in power bomb position, he didn't call for the disqualification. He just threw them out of ringside. Yeah, whatever. All right. Anyway. And then there's a moment where Will Ospreay is going for the Tiger Driver 99, and then he hesitates and doesn't do it because he doesn't want to send Roderick Strong to the hospital. And then it, it backfires, and Roderick Strong, is it looks like he's going to win, but then Will Ospreay kicks out, hits the Hidden Blade, and then he hits Stormbreaker for the win anyway. So yeah, awesome match. But I was wrong. I wanted Roderick Strong to win. We get... Adam Cole out next after that. He didn't try to help in the first match at all, even though that's his uh, faction. But he comes out right after, says that his ankle's not quite ready, but when he's ready to come back, he is going to be the champion and the top guy. And he goes on a promo, and then MJF returns and also cuts promo. MJF return, awesome. All right, next. I was also wrong on this one. The Bang Bang Gang defeats Death Triangle for the Unified Trios Championships. They lose because of Juice Robinson's interference, who's also returning from injury. Good to see Juice back. Next, Tony Storm defeats Serena Deeb for the AEW Women's World Championship. So there's a moment where Mariah May looks like she's going to throw in the towel while Serena Deeb has Tony Storm in a submission. Then Luther takes the towel from Mariah May. Then Tony Storm gets out of it and sees Luther with the towel and kind of admonishes him. So they're kind of building that break up still. It was a fantastic match. It ends with an insane pile driver off of Bret Hart's rope. Next, Orange Cassidy defeats Trent Beretta in a pretty awesome match. Orange Cassidy enters to Where Is My Mind by the Pixies instead of Jefferson Starship. After the match, Trent Beretta leaves through the crowd, says he's done. I got that prediction wrong again. I got quite a few predictions wrong. Next, in a match I didn't even make a prediction for because I didn't remember... Chris Jericho defeats Hook and Shibata for the World Championship, or the FTW Championship. It was a fairly ugly match. There were a few cool spots. There's a point where Jericho brings out a bag and you think it's going to be thumbtacks, and instead he pours out a bunch of dice all over the ring because they're in Las Vegas for double or nothing. And that's pretty cool. And then Jericho gets his comeuppance. He gets slammed on the dice like three times in a row. However... Throughout the rest of the match, the dice are just scattered through the ring, so you can see that anytime any of the three guys have to do even the most basic move or suplex, they are grimacing and there's dice everywhere. Jericho wins via interference. Next, we have John Moxley defeating Takeshita. It was an IWGP Championship Eliminator match, not for the championship. Should have been for the championship, because John just won. Good match. Next, we have Adam Copeland defeating Malachi Black in a barbed wire steel cage match for the TNT Championship. There is one amazing spot where Adam Copeland looks like he breaks his leg. He does an elbow drop off the top of the cage through a table. And honestly, he looks like he takes most of it on his legs because he tries to land on his feet and not really land the elbow drop. And it looks... I hope his leg's okay, is what I'm saying. And Mercedes Monet defeats Willow Nightingale for the TBS Championship. It was a really good match, and after the match, Chris Statlander turns on Willow, which, during the match, they kind of distract the referee, which prevents Willow from getting the win. And then they act like it was an accident, but it seems like it was on purpose, so there you go. Honestly, Mercedes doesn't really turn heel, she just kind of takes advantage of the situation. So not a definitive heel turn for Mercedes. Swerve defeats Christian for the AEW World Championship. As I predicted, Christian tries every trick in the book. 
and it doesn't work. It all goes to hell for him when Kill Switch gets caught on the apron, and then the patriarchy and all of his backup gets thrown out. From there, Christian is not beating Swerve one-on-one -on -one clean. So yeah, it, it was academic at that point. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shit show. That's how Justin Roberts announced this match, and he wasn't wrong. Really awesome match. Scattered all over the place. Really cool spots, but yeah, definitely scattered. I can't imagine how it was. It must have been cooler for the people in the arena, but they were having a hard time keeping track of everything. But that was to be expected. It's anarchy in the arena. Highlights are Darby Allen getting hit by a bus for a second time. Although this one was probably fake, the, the other one wasn't, that broke his nose. That one was just unfortunate for him. He was crossing the street. Jack Perry gets hit with a flamethrower. I am not making that up, and I'm not giving context either. Darby Allen winds up hanging upside down for a good portion of this match in the ring while everybody else is still wrestling to the point where the crowds start chanting, Please help Darby. As Brian Danielson is going to help Darby, Jack Perry hits him with almost like a Busaiko knee and gets the pin. So I was right on that one. Brian Danielson puts everybody over. Fantastic pay-per-view. Wow. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. The only thing on the pay-per-view that I thought that you maybe could have dropped was the FTW Championship match. But everything else was great. It did have some cool stuff in it that made it enjoyable. So I'm, I'm not mad that it was on the show. If you wanted to save time, that could have been the one you dropped. But other than that, top to bottom, really good show. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. We'll see how this video does. I normally don't do wrestling stuff. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.